He's uh, one of the stars of that Baylor offense. He's the quarterback, Bryce Petty, who joins us on the show. What grade would you give yourself after last night's performance, Bryce? Mm, you know, man, it's kind of hard to, to give myself anything other than a, you know, higher than a C, really. Um, you know, but it does say a lot about our team. It says a lot about the the uh, the drive and determination. It, it was an ugly game. Uh, the score definitely doesn't show how the game went. Um, you know, we had to fight, we had to fight, we had to fight. But, man, I'm so proud of our guys for, um, you know, just having that next play mentality and um, always knowing that uh, it's, it's, it's about to come, it's about to come. And then, and then when it happened, man, we kind of got on a roll there. So it just took a while to get there. What's uh, campus like today? When you, are you going to class today? Yes, sir. Um, I have, haven't actually been to class yet. I, I don't have class until 10-10. So, um, but I'm, I'm sure it's, it's rocking. Um, last night was was amazing. I think they said eight out of, of, of every ten student, or every ten students that we had went to the game, and so uh, the atmosphere was was outstanding. Last you night. ever had a teacher ask for an autograph? <laughs> no, sir. I think I had a couple pictures of of professors in my jersey last night, but uh, I have not signed an autograph yet. Yeah, I looked at your background, and and you grew up really an SEC kid. Yes, that, sir. that that's what you wanted. Um, now Tennessee recruited you uh anybody else in the SEC uh really when I when I committed to Tennessee I kind of cut off all all recruiting you know I had a couple camps lined up um was and, Lane Kiffin involved in this in any way no sir that was all coach Fulmer okay but then Lane took over for him yes sir were you still planning on going to Tennessee well I originally I had I had been yes sir um you know I love coach Fulmer but at the same time I, I still love the school too you know you can't really commit to one person but um you know, Coach Kiffin came in, and and the guy that recruited me um, actually said that my my scholarship was still there, um, but that he just wasn't, you know, he wasn't sold on me. And so I knew at that point that I needed to get out. You know, you want, always want to feel wanted, um, always want to feel that that uh, you know you've got the trust and and um, you know confidence of your coach. So you know, I didn't feel that and, and wanted to felt that I needed to get out. But uh, I don't know if your dad told you this. Uh, I'm not sure how old he is. But, you know, growing up, Baylor was always the punchline. It was always, and Oklahoma beats Baylor by, or Nebraska beats Baylor by. You know, what Art Browse has done and having RG3, I mean, it's really been an unbelievable transformation. And I'm, I'm not sure if you're aware of where Baylor used to be. We know where they are now. Exactly. Well, you know, and that's all that matters to us right now is where we are now and, and setting, you know, uh, future teams up. Uh, you know, we've came a long way. Um, we're not where we want to be yet, um, but we're striving to that. You know, we've got a sign out set that says be the standard, um, and that's what we're trying to do. You know, the, the old Baylor is no more, um, and that's what we're trying to prove each and every week that, that we're here to stay. Um, but RG3 put you guys on, on the map nationally. Definitely, definitely. Yes, what sir. was it like when, like, you're seeing the starting quarterback and then saying one day I hope to be the starting quarterback, but when you looked at RG3, what did you see? Man, I, I saw a guy that, like you said, man, just completely changed the whole outlook on a team. Um, but not only, you know, from a team saying that, hey, they can, they can see Baylor on a schedule and automatically put a W by it um, to where it is now, um, to where we belong. Um, and it's it's going to be a fight when you come to Waco or when when Baylor comes to to you know whoever we're playing. And so I think uh, you know Griff did such an outstanding job of just completely turning this uh, this whole program around. And you know along with Coach Browles too for sure. So um, you know I'm I'm just happy to be a part of it. He's Bryce Petty, the Baylor quarterback, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Do you want to win the Heisman? <laughs> do I want to? I mean, how, how do you say no to that? Uh, <laughs> well, some guys get nervous. Just you know, they're they're humble. I you know because if you if you guys run the table here, I mean, you're going to be one of the top five candidates here. So I would want to win it, but you know, guys get all nervous and say, "Look, you know, my goal is a Big Twelve championship or whatever it might be." I'm curious, you know, if you look at it and say that's a realistic goal here. I saw RG three do it. Yes, you know, I want that trophy. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it's anything about being nervous. Um, you know, when I say that, that I'm, I just want to win a Big 12 championship, um, you know, that was my goal at the beginning of the year. Um, when I set out my goals, my a Heisman was not on there. Um, it was it was about a team goal. It was about a Big 12 championship because that's something that, that I wanted to attain as soon as I took over the starting spot. Um, you Is know, this it, your huddle voice? When you get in the huddle, do you sound like this? <laughs> 
I don't know. You're going to have to ask my big guys up front. I, get, I think so. Go to the line of scrimmage, call an audible. Let me hear <laughs> how your voice sounds. Uh, hey, we're going uh, check, check. No, no, easy, no, no, easy. no, no. You don't go, hey, we're going. There's 80,000. You're at Oklahoma <laughs> State. You're in Stillwater. And I'm the wide receiver. And I'm looking over, and you're going what? You know, it's <laughs> it's got to be like practice, man. And that's what that's what's so crazy about. Put put the phone down, stand up, and then I want you to <laughs> come, on. come on, Bryce. I want to hear. I want to hear an audible. Let me hear. You, you really want to hear an audible? Yes, I want to hear how your voice is. Full voice, full throat here at Oklahoma State. Ready? All right, break. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm about to yell. You ready? All right, I'm ready. Check left. Check left. Ready? <laughs> you hear it? <laughs> Okay, but I I mean I I guess I I quarterback differently than you do. What do you do? I'd say Omaha, Omaha, right right, right right. Mike 53 is the Mike linebacker. Said ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's how you do it. Well, unfortunately that that takes time and we don't have that in our offense. <laughs> you don't take that much time at the line of scrimmage? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. I get in trouble if I take that much time. <laughs> have you ever worn your jersey to class? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, I couldn't read the names on the back of the jerseys. They may look cool in person, but on TV, not good. Not really. No, I couldn't read the names on the back. Well, that's tragic. Yes. But well, same, to... Oregon, same way. I couldn't read. Like, they were so, they were too cool. That's the new fad, man. <clears throat> Are you going to wear that jersey again this year? I hope so. Okay. I, I hope I'm so. Just curious. I'm just, you know, I'm just looking for a donation for the man kid. <laughs> How about, how about Big 12? You win the Big 12, then I get the, I get the black jersey. Deal. All right, fair enough. Then we'll, we'll put it up, in the, up. In, in, in the man cave there. Uh, do you expect to face Alabama this year? Do I expect to? Yeah. That's our goal. How would you guys do again? Because we keep seeing these physical teams. You know, Oregon, Stanford last night. Uh, you guys with the spread offense. Is the spread offense that susceptible to these teams, a couple of teams that are uh, physical, Alabama, Stanford? They're not many of them. Ohio State might be in that uh, conversation. You know, to be honest with you, I, I think that we feel as an offense and as a team that we can hang with anybody um, and not just hang but beat anybody. Um, you know, if we get out there on the field, it's all about confidence. It's all about that mentality to know that, hey, it's always about Baylor. It's always about that next play. Um Again, we we just have a, a quiet confidence about how good this team is and how special this team is. We've known it all along since since spring ball, uh, summer workouts, going through fall camp. We've just known that there's something special about this team. And do you so, expect to put up 100 points in a game? Do I, that's a lot of points. Do you um, think you could? I I think we could. I honestly think we could. Would it be wrong to score 100 points in a game? Most likely. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Depending on who it's against? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so against Oklahoma State, it wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no comment on that one. Okay, all right. Well, congrats on the win last night. Great season, and uh, you're lucky to have a coach like that. I hope you guys appreciate what Artie's done there. That's, definitely, uh, definitely. Uh, no, no doubt, man. He's He's been outstanding. Such a such an intricate part of, of everything that's gone around here, and, and definitely the future. Um, he's always thinking about uh, the, the next the next deal. So, um, you know, we love Coach. All right. And uh, work on that voice a little bit, all right? You got it. Hey, but speaking of working on, I, I was watching the show and saw you throwing a little bit. What would you think? The, the shoulder looks better than ever. Yeah. You know, I'm, it's it's a little bit crisper. You know, my, uh, my spiral a little bit tighter. Right. Um, you know, I can sling it a little bit. I, you know, we like to call it spinning it. I don't okay. Know. Yeah, hey, I, that's what Coach Brawl says, spin it to win it. Yeah. Well, it's just two quarterbacks here talking. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, Dan, thanks for having me. All right, Bryce. Thank you. That's Bryce Petty. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.